My name is Caroline Foster, and I'm reporting from the town of Usuiso, Japan. It's approximately 50 kilometers from Fukushima's nuclear plant. Today we're here in a town that lost approximately 150 people when the tsunami hit on March 11th. And as you can see, what's left here has been pretty devastated. There are some people still remaining in the community, and many of the other residents have been put up in evacuation centers and are um, being provided with temporary housing. However, those residents that are left here are lacking in terms of supplies. They no longer have clothes and they are having a hard time acquiring food and water as well. So today we brought in some water and some rice and we've obtained a specific list of resources that they would like to be sent to them. Um, this includes water, specifically 16 ounce bottles of water. This also includes summer clothing for all age ranges as well as microwavable foods, whether it be rice or a TV dinner. Another thing that's high on the list is box fans or portable fans that are on a stand. These are an item that is actually hard to find in this area of Japan right now because so many people are looking for them. This town relied heavily on the fishing industry, so many of them are out of work and have no means of making money to procure these supplies. So we're partnering with a couple of organizations in order to bring supplies and resources into this community. We're partnering with an organization called Crash, as well as the local Iwaki Relief Network. And these two organizations are helping to facilitate getting the proper resources to the proper people. 